Freedom Riders is the newest Mad River Theater Works play. It explores one of the most critical chapters in the history of the civil rights movement. The show, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful piece of work that showcases the fact that you don't have to have a particular title or a certain amount of money to make a change in this world. You see something is wrong and you get with other people who also see the same wrongs and you do something about it. Um, it takes place in 1961, of course, during the Freedom Rides um, time of the Civil Rights Movement. There's an effort. We work through CORE, we work through SNCC and other government officials trying to right what we feel like some of the societal wrongs were of the time to give everyone equal opportunities where they ate at, where they had their entertainment at. Just trying to bring to everyone together as one, pretty much some of the same things that we face today. The Irving Parks and Recreation and the Irving Art Center hosted the play in celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And our own Kathy Whiteman was there to present the show. And they are bringing us a story today about the Freedom Riders. Please welcome back to Irving, Mad River Theater Works. Freedom Riders reflects on how even after the United States Supreme Court had outlawed segregation, bus lines in cities still enforced the crooked system of separating black and white citizens. So Freedom Riders, both white and black, decided to travel together on buses that crossed state lines purposefully disregarding the hateful segregation. The story needs to be told. There are a lot of people who know of the story, but we bring it to younger audiences and it just opens up another world for them. You know, it's important that they know the, the conveniences that they have today, they were always not in place. People had to struggle and fight for those conveniences of today. But audiences didn't just get to see a performance about the Freedom Riders. William Harbour, an original Freedom Rider, was there to see the show and discuss his experiences. And I was one of the students that was on the bus uh, that went throughout the South on the Freedom Ride. And we, the trip was planned from Washington, D.C. to New Orleans. So we got into Mississippi, we left, uh, left for, uh, Montgomery, got into Mississippi, and went straight to jail, put us in jail. And I'd already been in jail over 10 times, I said. And the judge gave us a $200 fine, uh, six to seven days in jail. We refused to pay the fine. And I spent 49 days in prison. I mean, real prison, yeah. not no little bit of prison. No. Not just a regular jailhouse, mm -hmm. but 49 days in prison. And I was got, uh, they let me out. Well, they paid my fine so I can go get out and be one of the test cases. Uh, go back to court. We did go back to court against the state of Mississippi and won our case. The production of Freedom Riders portrayed a significant moment in history and it's a story the cast hopes audiences won't forget. We all hear that in order for us not to repeat history we have to remind ourselves of where we've been and unfortunately we are in a time where we still we're still repeating history in a sense and I think it's very important for the people that are coming up the young people to hear these stories. People take away um, the numbing reality of uh, the suffering that these people went through uh, and how it affected not just them but their families. My greatest hope is that everyone walks away with a sense of unity because we are all in this thing together. Freedom Riders reminds us that any individual has the capability to make a difference in society. For About Town, this is Susan Kamyop.